Jesus Christ is risen today, alleluia. Our triumphant holy day, alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, alleluia, suffer to Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are returning in glory. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul escorts have taken him to Athens, they came away with the instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar, an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made the one, the whole human race, to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their region so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we not, ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art, and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent, because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did not join him, and, and but some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Arapax, and a woman named Darmius, and others with them, after he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all the peoples, the princes, all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people, but this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him, alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus had so much to tell his disciples, but he knew that they would not be able to understand because the scripture of the Gospel comes before his passion, death, and resurrection. And so Jesus knows that they couldn't understand what it meant for him to suffer. They couldn't understand what it meant for him to be crucified. They couldn't understand what it meant for him to be risen or raised from the dead. So he told them that I will send you the spirit of truth. And the spirit will then teach you. The spirit will then open your minds so that you can understand these things great mysteries. It is the spirit that we look forward to on the day of Pentecost, which we will celebrate on May 23rd, in just a little bit over a week. Tomorrow is Thursday, and tomorrow, of course, is 40 days after Easter. When I was growing up, the 40th day after Easter was the Ascension. It was always called Ascension Thursday. It was a holy day of obligation where we came to celebrate that great feast. Many, many years ago, several decades ago, the bishops of the United States decided to transfer the Feast of the Ascension from 40 days after Easter to the Sunday following. Now, many people wonder why they would do a thing like that. Well, part of it is, and it's sad to say, that many people did not come on a holy day of obligation, on a Thursday, a day in the middle of the week. So they really missed out upon celebrating this great feast of Jesus ascending into heaven. And so by moving it to Sunday, more people can celebrate that day and then come to understand what exactly the ascension means. It is a far more important day than our minds can fully comprehend. Because if Jesus did not ascend into heaven, he would not have sent the Holy Spirit, the Advocate. And Jesus tells us very plainly that with the Holy Spirit, we will do far greater things than he did. Now that is a wonderful and powerful message that Jesus is telling us. 
and it is because the Spirit came. So tomorrow we will celebrate an ordinary, joyful day in the Easter season. And on Sunday we will celebrate the ascension of the Lord into heaven. But always our prayer is, come, Lord Jesus, come. And friends, let us now place our needs before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world, that she may spread the joy of Easter and call the world to conversion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders that they will work together for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, that we may have peace in our streets, that there be an end to abortion, and that we respect each and every human life from the moment of conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our parish community, that we may rightfully prepare ourselves for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick and the suffering, the lonely and the oppressed, that they may know the healing touch of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for your needs, your intentions, that we bring to the altar today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by this wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice may have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the wave of peace. Peace be. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and leave though leave those who have been imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Amen.